character. Uh, that frame one air, uh, that frame one armor on double jump, and how do you turn that from a defensive tool into an offensive yeah. tool? So, or both. I mean, both of these characters can definitely benefit from a stage like Battlefield. Yoshi, like you said, you know, high movement uh, is gonna. He's very heavy. Oh, yeah. uh, so, like, battle, uh, Battlefield is the largest blast zones uh, in the game, uh, legally. Uh, and Ness has, like, a lot of weird follow-ups that can be extended with the platforms, I I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah. I know that a lot of Ness mains likes, uh, like Battlefield and Smattlefield for, like, those reasons. Because, like, you know, PS2 has the platform slightly higher, which means it's, it, it probably makes a difference. Yeah, I know. Uh, I see a lot with Syrup on this stage. Um, Battlefield and Small Battlefield allow Ness to do full hop, uh, full hop down air on the platforms, but be get the auto cancel window before the hitbox comes out, which is just a nice uh, mix up layer in order to find more grabs, which Ness loves to find. So it's the, it's a benefit from on that front, but. Also, man, Yoshi just is able to not only hit platforms extremely reliably with things like up tilt, up smash, uh, that frame four up air. Also, man, up smash is so strong. I, do, I still don't believe that there's a sour spot. I don't care how much Wh data uh, you Which provide. one? Which, which Yoshi up smash? There's no sour spot. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's out of shield. Got to be careful with how much mustard is going in for these forward airs. Um, that's only going to... Usually it's going to be met with a an aerial out of shield as Yoshi, who has plenty of prob uh, problematic starters out of shield. Yeah. That downer does so much damage. Looking for the two frame with down tilt that time and is able to reset all the same. Oh, going for a grab as well. Able to catch in the corner. Mustard needs to slow down here. Sometimes you just have to take ledge and not be careful not to throw out too many aerials because that's twice now he's been anti-aired hard by up smash for just going for the Ness Classic, which is rising nair, rising fair into something else, whether it be back air, down air, neutral air, etc. Yeah, you can tell that uh, Pink Sheet's really just like kind of flow, just moving around the, the stage, like really familiar, very comfortable, uh, right. and still like has yet to take 100 damage, is right on the precipice of it, and there finally it, it happens. Uh, but, right. you know, it, Mustard's definitely going to have to change something. <laughs> he's going to need a little bit more mustard to his gameplay, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it needs that extra little bit of sauce. Yeah. Like, just put, a, put a couple condiments on, on on your movement and on your gameplay. Because right now, like, Ness is a really great character to like to pick up and start moving with and, start, uh, and understanding combo flow charts. But if you don't connect your combo, like we see, like that rising fair... In, uh, that rising fair not fully connecting, mm -hmm. then you are still in midair, and Yoshi thrives on that. Even if it wasn't an up smash, up air beats that. Uh, or dash under up air can beat that. Uh, up smash, uh, I believe even like run under up tilt as well. Like All of that is so unbelievably good. Combine that with just this hurt box shifting forward smash. And yeah, I was going to say. Like, do it like, again. Bro. <laughs> he whined and back. Anyway, so uh, Pink Cheats bands were Final Destination and Smashville. And so Mustard opted for kind of other Smashville. Uh, went to Hollow Bastion. The difference is, is that Hollow Bastion is literally FD with okay. a platform. Like, literally FD with a platform. Both Blast Zones and just the stage itself. It is a skin. It's a te <laughs> like, they literally just were. It's a skin. I like it. It's a skin. Like, <laughs> it's a texture mod uh, of FD, and we put a platform on it. Look at my Brawl Box. Hell, it's so cute. LOL. I just started learning to hack the game. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they, that's, what that, that's what that reads to me. <laughs> I do like it though. Like yeah. being having FD si FD uh, size and width that reach hello. Um, yeah, it keeps things. It's nice that it's like uh, it's like kind of like a standardization. But yeah, uh, yeah. Pink Chi taking that first stock. Yoshi forward smash man. Right now, lowering his defense. Double tail whip. <laughs> we got the RG RPG stats in here. Yeah. The multi versus vibes. <laughs> Oh, okay, finally getting a couple of a couple of counter hits here. It almost feels like after that game one, Mustard has just been holding away a lot more with some of their uh, with some of their offense and trying to be much more careful. But but you see them shaking their head in their player cam like they're being getting hit by forward smash a lot. Just feels bad because it feels like in the colloquialism of Smash Brothers, 
Forward smashes should be hard punishes, but not necessarily be good. Now, there's many exceptions to this, yeah. but Yoshi's usually isn't one of them. And you just start to sit there and think, oh, why am I getting hit by forward smash a lot? This shouldn't be happening when you can almost just look at the amount of gameplay that Mustard has been going with. A lot of, a lot of attempted counter hits, which can go well and poorly depending on how much Jeez. of it you're using. And Pink, Pink Sheet is just putting on such an onslaught oh, of yes. aggression, and Mustard is just getting overwhelmed by it. You know, even when, like we saw, like, an, an, an egg throw, and he just, like, rolled back. It's like, bro, he's not even close to you. Just <laughs> take that deep breath. You need it. Yeah. Okay. Hold, hold steady here, but another... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. That oh, was my. another up air. He, they could have done it. <laughs> Chose yeah. not to. Will we see the five stock from Pink Chi? 52 here? Like, it's not impossible, but it's kind of like you're in, I need a PK Rocket twice territory, which is just not realistic as, yeah, that's a, that's a quick fist bump and a disappointed look on the face of Mustard, who will be dropping down to lose his bracket. But you can kind of understand Pink Chi, if there's anybody that has, if there's any amount of Smash Ultimate that you've played, uh, Ness is just one of those matchups that you have to be ready for. It's a very easy character to pick up, very easy character to understand how to uh, how to really play on a on a surface level. Though you can get fancy with some uh, magnet movement and different uh, different extenders, and yeah. starting to use more of his kit. And but a lot of Ness's kit, a lot of Ness's aerials just feel good to hit and feel good to start maneuvering with. So it's a matchup that everybody has to be ready for. And Yoshi can certainly give a lot of aerial-based characters fits. To put it bluntly, to even, like, Yoshi's air, air acceleration, air speed, insanity. Yeah. So uh, we now do have uh, an opponent.